So why are they trying to bash this character because he's a part of the Trump thing? Now, they're not stopping there. They are not stopping there. So I do want to watch this video is because this, this article comes to us from Mediaite. It's right over here. And it says, Rachel Maddow connects J.D. Vance liking Lord of the Rings to far right. It's Aryan, but you move the end to the front. Yeah. So this is some Doctor Who this. level finale level of re altering the words in that they had like susan technologies and they went hang on maybe it goes cess technology maybe it spells tardis no if we cut it in half flip it around do a thing with it and then it means this and it's su tech like that's not how anagrams work and she is literally just th there is a point where if you keep hearing dog whistles you're the dog if you look at a normal word and go <gasps> that means mid-century the, the, the problem's you 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 see it everywhere you're yeah. obsessed, love. Gray, do you think <laughs> Lord of the Rings is right is right wing propaganda? <laughs> I, I maybe Rings of Power, maybe. Maybe she's from <laughs> Rings of Power. <laughs> but, but probably not. It's prob um it's I don't I know how vast the Tolkien lore is because I actually found out how big Lord of the Rings is because of Rings of Power, because of people commentating. Oh, these are there are people who actually have degrees based on Tolkien, which I never, I had no idea it was that big. It was that massive. To Tolkien source material was that big, and now you have these people, you know, disrespecting the source material. And yeah, it's probably based from Rings of Power. So that's 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 about it. That's about as deep as it can get, if you can even call it that. Yeah, let's go ahead and watch I what. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, be, well, this, this kind of it. narrative has been going on for a while. When when Rings of Power was coming out, there was lots of other articles that have been doing it. Some of them accused Tolkien himself, which is really stupid. <laughs> he has letters and everything about it, like denying everything. But they they some they sometimes they try and spin it about him and some of his opinions. Um, oh, it's the article yeah, right here. Th he yeah, this is one of them. Like even if you just go through the headlines. Like the, the the titles of it, like why do racists like Tolkien and Middle Earth is like halfway down the page, and they've been spinning this all the way down, um, and it is literally because Lord of the Rings is basically masculine values, they have a problem with it. It, it it's anti progress, and so they have to destroy it so they can move forwards in the entire thing, and the way they do it as I th I think where where I was just kind of reading it, they basically go that. It does need to be changed in order to prove to everybody else that this isn't a racist property. So Rings of Power needs to go and make Black Elves and stuff, even though it literally doesn't make sense in the law. Um, it, it, and it needs to make all these changes to prove to these people that it's wrong. And so they were, they were forming an argument of why Rings of Power was a required piece and why it had to alter the canon to make it... And you're going to keep getting it. The, 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 the conversation will always be... That's something I don't like. Uh, it, it's racist there and it must be changed. And I, I think it's kind of losing its power at the moment. Like, nobody really cares. It, it, it's the most farcical. Oh, it's racist. Okay, fine. That's that's insane, man. Oh, that's... That, that. <laughs> All right, let's see what crazy Maddo has to say about this. Make sure it's not too loud. There we go. Nevertheless, uh, Mr. Vance then was able to go and start another venture capital firm with... Surprise, yet more help from Peter Thiel. Um, like Mr. Thiel, who has named his companies after things in the Lord of the Rings series of J.R.R. Tolkien books. Uh, Lord of the Rings is a sort of favorite um, cosmos for naming things and cultural references for a lot of far-right and alt-right figures, both in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. It's like, okay, I'm going to call my, uh, you know, my sword, like, Narsil or something like that. Some, some, mm -hmm. some, some crazy, it's like, oh, you're a racist. It's like, oh, my God, man, these people are insane. Well, it, it's because it's basically, not really intended, the trump card. It is literally, I win, <laughs> I called you racist, job done. I don't, I don't need any other proof. I have called you slur, and now you have to go away, and I've defeated you. It's like, yeah, but what if I just don't care? That's the one thing that. What if I just don't care what you think of me? Uh, and it, it to me, it is just. Um, I, I've seen what makes you cheer, so I, I don't care what you just like because I've seen what you do like. I, I've, I've, see, I've seen the kind of things that you've said before, the the uh, the things you support, and I think those are evil. So, 
you think I'm racist, I think you're evil. I, I, I think I win in that regard, to be honest. It's like, oh no, the bad people don't like me. Uh, so, I, I, I think you could probably, if you just went through life liking the things that they despised, I think you'd probably have a really good life, actually. You, you'd, you'd be married, you'd have kids, you'd live a fulfilling life, you'd probably stay away from, like, most of the really harmful, degenerate kind of stuff. And I think you'd, you'd, you'd like all the quality entertainment and hate all the really bad stuff. So they're like the perfect weather vane of where not to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, oh, if you like traditional masculine men who's extremely stoic, one of the best written characters. <laughs> yeah. If you want to become you're strong right instead of weak. Oh my God. It's like, because like Aragorn's like one of the, like Aragorn's one of the characters like really, really well written. So is Sam. I mean, mm -hmm. Like all the characters are really, really well written, right? And it's like, oh, if you have morals, and you are good. You're a good character. You good, you know, good judgment of your personalities, and like you, you don't let evil corrupt you. You're considered right wing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's continue yeah. with this. And the United States, Peter Thiel names all these things after Tolkien figures and places, like his company Palantir, for example. Um, like his mentor, like they Peter couldn't Thiel, think of a slur for that one. Jobs in <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Palantir is the orb that Saruman uses, yeah. right? Is that ball? Yeah, right? yeah, that, yep, yep, yep. Oh, but man. that's the thing, because they couldn't find a way to twist it, they just said, like, Palantir, and then moved on to something else. So yeah. they've already proven themselves wrong. Like, all this stuff has nothing to do with it, which is why there's things which you could just use and be fine. Then they found one where they're, hang on, if we treat this as an anagram, we can say something. I'm not even sure it's spelled right. I don't even know how you'd actually say it. <laughs> in the world, Mr. Vance also, when he founded his own venture capital firm with help from Peter Thiel, named it after a Lord of the Rings thing. He called it Naria, N-A-R-Y-A, which you can remember because it's Aryan, but you move the end to the front. Oh uh, apparently that I, word I love has something to do with L. I love yeah. the fact that she said that's how you can remember it. Like, or ev <laughs> most people come up with like mnemonics or like they'll think of an image because you can remember images better than that. Or a phone number you remember in groups of three. No, she remembers it in references to mid-century Germany. That's how she remembers everything. Yeah. Could you rem the anagrams for a dog's name and like birthdays and stuff. I'd love to see what she's <laughs> yeah, referring them to. That, that means dog means God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you actually refer, you actually put the subversive Christian like terminology you're sneaking in. Oh man, it's so dumb. There's so many articles that came out. How dare you so keep this... God as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> one over here say how lord of the ring shaped jd vance's po uh, politics a lot of my conservative worldviews was influenced by tolkien right and then if you go I, mean, down I think that's a good thing yeah like, I, you, I you so talk about aragorn aragorn is he, like he's an incredibly strong guy but he earned everything he has he's lived a really long time but he's not good at fighting because you know he was the chosen one he was good at fighting because he practiced all the time um and so it was literally just strong men who earned their positions doing what strong men do, saving mm -hmm. the world. And that's why they hate it. Yep. They, like, if, if there was, if it was really diverse and all the women were in charge, they'd love Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, and the thing is, everyone always bring back the, what's it called? I always forget her name. Um, the daughter of um, the, the Rohan, I forgot her name. Eowyn? Yeah, Eowyn? yeah. Eowyn, yeah, Eowyn, like, yeah. Yeah, if, if you saw the Eowyn scene right now, you would consider it woke. I'm like, no 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 like it's she didn't like she got her ass kicked multiple times and then she was like okay i am no man right like, like that thing like they would if that thing came out right now if that scene came out right now yeah they would be like oh yes that's th th this is woke and then all the females would have praised it but uh disparate how, how do you feel about the whole aon thing that they, they use that a lot um i think i think it might but i think that's also justified because you have to remember Something doesn't exist on its own, right? Lord of the Rings was it, a, like a product of its time and its place. And if it was now, then it would be as well. So that scene, it, let's assume everything else was the same. That scene would be out surrounded by all the other movies that we've had now, where people have just had enough of it. And so on its own, when it's actually written for something and it was done for the story purposes, it's fine. But when mm. every single show does it, then I don't, th people have a lower temperament for it. And so it yeah. might have been classified as that. Um, but also, I think the rebuttal would have just been, it's a really old book. <laughs> That's the defense. It was in the law and it was back then. So they would have got called stupid, but I also think they would have been justified to have just been like, I don't care whether it's in the book. I'm fed up with it. I want a change. 
because yeah. people talk a lot about superhero fatigue and stuff, and I think we've got girl boss fatigue. It's just definitely in by now, and so yeah, it, you'd probably there probably would be an argument to change the scene if you actually wanted people to like it more, even because uh, how it was made. Yeah. That's why I think it was good that Lord of the Rings was made when it was, because they could make it when people still wanted to stick to the lore and everyone was fine with it. Whereas, I, I, it, it's why it's a bit of a misleading argument, because if it was made today, everything else would have changed. Like, Aragorn would be a woman. <laughs> you know? Well, they've already made him a black guy. Yeah, well, <laughs> Gandalf, Gandalf would have come back as, like, so, uh, you know some korean <laughs> like it literally <laughs> everything would have been changed gand off the yellow <laughs> <laughs> oh man but the, uh. the thing is there's so i found so many articles about like the whole racist thing right like here's another one from cbc right here how the lord of the rings became a symbol for italy's far right for Italy's neo-fascist ruling party, J.R. Tolkien's fantasy epic is a fitting symbol of their beliefs right and if you go right over um Right over here, this is from New York Times. See, Hobbits and the Hard Right. How fantasy inspires Italy's potential new leader, uh, Giorgio Maloney. Uh, I'm assuming oh, that's how you say it. These are the it's older like, articles. Yeah, yeah, I remember this, actually. When she was getting elected, they were like, oh my God, look at her. She's like, like she, since she's been in power, she's done absolutely nothing in this. And actually, the speech where they were like, oh my God, I can't believe she's so far. Like, all she did, she did a speech going... I believe in family values. That was that was basically her speech. I, I can't believe that you said this. What about all the miserable cat ladies? Won't you think of them? And it, it was so farcical. And she literally just said, "I like Lord of the Rings." It's like, so just most of the world. <laughs> like this, is, you can literally have anything. <laughs> Half your side will like it as well. And it's like, well, I, I literally think it is because it is pure masculine values where you don't get that in Hollywood anymore. Uh, they want to move everything to uh, more female centric values. Uh, so you have things like rather than um, hierarchy, justice, and hard work, it's now everyone's equal. We're all super powerful. You need to accept us how we are. Um, and the simple fact that doesn't make good heroes. And so, you, Lord of the Rings needed these values for it to be what it was, because otherwise the characters would have acted differently. And it's lasted as long as it has because of those values. So the reasons yes. why they're calling everyone right is why Lord of the Rings is around now in the first place. It is intrinsically linked. And I, I kind of think they are tr correct when they say that Lord of the Rings does belong to the right now, literally because you will not get masculinity on the other side. It doesn't happen. So Absolutely. if you have masculine values, you would be, by modern terminology, right. Just because everything has shifted so far one way, then, yeah. you know, everyone else got collected in the other one. <laughs> Another one here. Uh, fascists have twisted Tolkien into the Lord of the Right Wing. <laughs> the author loathed the de de uh, despots, uh, yet this fantasy saga is idealized by the Italian far right and has been flagged by the British counter-terrorism experts as a handbook for white supremacists. That that's true. I remember that there was a, <laughs> there was a big list, and one one of the they listed all the things that led into like um, domestic terror. Well, one of them was literally Lord of the Rings. Yep. Like, and here, completely insane. And here's another one just from Fox. S. S. C. S. Lewis, Tolkien, Orwell, among the works tagged as triggers for far-right mm -hmm. extremism by anti-terrorism group. Now, if you go over here, authors, a classic author such as C. S. Lewis, J. R. Tolkien, George Orwell, Joseph Conrad, and Al is it Aldous? Aldous Huxley were included in the list of potentially problematic texts compiled by Pre uh, Prevents Research Information and Communications Unit, according to The Spectator. Authors whose work is allegedly shared by people sympathetic with the far right as and Brexit also yeah. reportedly included... Don't you love uh, how, they put, how they included Brexit in there? What <laughs> Brexit was, was do you think your country should make its own laws? And do you think that you should make your own trade agreements? That was the only thing that was about. And they're like, they hold it up as the bogeyman of evil. It is wild. Yeah, the Brexit thing was huge. I remember it was like back in what, like 2016, 17 or something? It, 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 was, was, it was huge, but it never achieved much because they never wanted to enact it. So they basically just did nothing, left everything as it was, and then basically nothing changed. Okay. But the thing is that they also included Thomas Hobbes, John Locke, Edmund Burke, Thomas mm -hmm. Carlyle, Adam Smith, and Shakespeare. Yes. 
it, it is basically any author which speaks about masculine values, strengthening yourself, uh, not being a victim, not being weak, going through challenges and struggle, but coming out the other side a better person. All of their work is now, no, you can't do that. It is literally anything <laughs> good in the universe. Oh, it belongs to the right wing. Well, you get to a point where it's like, well, that that must be great then. <laughs> like, if they have everything good that makes you strong and like able to survive in the world and makes you successful, I'm not sure that's a game you want to play. It seems like you're giving, um, you're basically what they see as the enemies, all of the good stuff. It is, it is literally, you could, I, I, what I want them to do, I want them to go through every single movie and say what is right and left. I would love them yes. to do that. Oh, oh that, 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 would be, uh, that would be a good video, actually. That would be awesome. Yeah, but I want them to do it because oh. I have a feeling they'd be like, great movie over here, terrible movie over there. And I think they'd just <laughs> split and they'd be like, this is our entertainment to be like, no, I, I don't want to be with you guys if that's what you think is good. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and, and th there's so many. Here's one from Daily Caller. Reading The Lord of the Rings and 1984 could lead to far right extremism. Gover <laughs> government report warns. Yeah, mm -hmm. so th there's many reasons why that they're, they're, they're basically trying to put all this together is because they don't like token right but basically what they did with um rings of power they're like this this is great if you hate it then you're a racist but what made a lot of people very mad and tying this all back to jd vance have you because, have you seen yeah. the rings of power sorry sorry to interrupt yes when the, rings oh, of power. Oh, it's, the, it's... the latest rings of power picture wait which... um amazon wait, prime tweeted it out we've now got warrior deezer wait what yeah, what? I think it's on Prime Video account. Warrior Diza. There's a picture of her and like her husband, and they're both holding hammers as if they're getting ready to hit somebody in the face. It was tweeted out probably, well, it was yesterday sometime. Oh, no. Oh. There you go. Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> Warrior <laughs> Diza, everybody. Like a parry chat. <laughs> <laughs> This is oh no man, Your warrior these oh, and of course holding a giant sandwich. But <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, they're they're basically trying to like show like like and, and her beard is sort of coming in now maybe because I don't remember this beard the side beard thing. She had no the, beard. Like yeah, in the first the, season it was like the, clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, it's because of the uproar. And then they're all trying to tie this back, saying that if you are against it, you're, you're a white supremacist. Take a look at what J.D. Vance said, right? This person right over here says, J.D. Vance is Trump's choice for VP. His views on women are particularly interesting. Quote, oh. we are effectively run in this country by a bunch of countless cat ladies who True. are miserable at their own <laughs> lives and the choices that they're made and so they want to make the rest of the country miserable. Mm -hmm. Crabs in a bucket. If you scroll down, I, you, I, I should probably be. Oh, maybe not. Um, I see if I can try and get my tweet for Let's it. See. Oh, they're right here, right? Oh, here. Yeah. I say it's a good start as he's pinpointed which part of the house <laughs> belong. <laughs> <How they're laughs> oh, like, yet. <laughs> like so all, the, all the tweets with him are literally just like base to real i agree and that's amazing we should all do that i think like, everyone was a great she that did not go the way she was expecting no. yeah, yeah 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 but yeah they're, they're trying to paint everyone that likes lord of the rings lord of the rings is this is a type of thing that it's lord of the rings especially the, like let's, let's talk about the movies not we're not even including the books here um at least the original trilogy not the hobbit stuff it, it's a movie that still holds up even 20 years after like 20, 24 years after its release. It's still really, really good. And especially the extended... Oh, I, think it, I think it'll always hold up because um, it wasn't very heavy in CGI and that seems to be what ages. If you use miniatures as they did, it still looks good. Um, and I think as we've seen like things like Babylon 5, the CGI for Babylon 5 was terrible even when it was made. Um, but you, you don't care because the story's so good. You're just like, yeah, this is the world I'm in. Um, and your brain just kind of accepts it. And I think Lord of the Rings will always be around. It will be one of the kind of trilogies which is just always mentioned. Like that and The Matrix. Um, th there's some films that will just age really well. Yeah. Oh, man. But Grey, like, uh, like I, do, do you believe that that Lord of the Rings is, is right-wing, though? Like, I, 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 because did, did Rachel Maddow, like, you know, did, did she win you over <laughs> with her statement? <laughs> If there's a lot of white authors in it, it's automatically white wing for right wing for them. That, that, that's basically white what wing. she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh man. That's basically what she's 
anything with a lot of white authors in it, it's automatically a right wing conspiracy. Yeah, it's basically the, what she's saying. Yeah, it's uh, I I want to watch the entire trilogy extended version now. Like, I, I just want to do it again. I haven't seen a movie in like three years. Like, the, like I like I remember watching the entire thing with my wife, the extended one. I was like, we're gonna watch the entire Lord of the Rings series, what? the extended one. <laughs> I've, I've, ju I've just seen Gary retweet this. This might be the worst tweet of all time. What have they okay. done? All right, let's let's bring us up. Let's see. They've tried to be really clever. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrific. <laughs> They've tried to be re what the they they wanted to cut his face in half so he looks normal, and at no point did they check it to see if they'd done the art right, and so he's just got a squashed face. Yeah, kind of like it's like a, a psych, a psych, cyclops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like his nose has entirely vanished. <laughs> like, oh man, yeah. Like if, if you were looking at it like this, then yeah, I get yeah. it. But everyone's gonna be seeing it. Like this. Yes, and that's the thing. There is a way when you know the layouts that you can make the images so it, it would have looked fine. But someone has messed up, and nobody even bothered to check. They just posted it. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh, dude, what the fuck is this amazing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Bro, bro. <laughs> oh, man. It's like an alien, dude. Oh, Anatar the Whack. Anatar the Whack. <laughs> oh, man. It's. It's this kind of unforced error, right? You had. All, nobody knew you were going to post that. You had all the time in the world to go, actually, this isn't right. Can you just do it again for tomorrow and fix the dimensions? Uh, that'll be fine. No, it, it was just like, that'll do. We don't really care about it. We know it's screwed up. We know it's funny, but no, we'll just post it anyway. And it's the lack of care that ch it shows how much you care about the work and it doesn't inspire confidence, does it? Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.